WrestleMania is this Sunday! Welcome everyone to Ring the Bell, this is Diaz. And I'm Lola Star. And this is our news and rumor. Okay, so let's go through the confirmed matches for the biggest weekend for the wrestling industry. WrestleMania. WrestleMania weekend, yes! TakeOver New York. What match is confirmed? Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler. Versus Bianca Belair. Mm -hmm. Versus Ahoy! Kairi Sane. Ahoy! <laughs> and Io Shirai. Shirai. Oh, doesn't she do like the, like that or something? I actually don't know how she does it. That or something, something like it's that. It's like, yeah, the Fatal 4 match, and of course there was a big brawl with all the women from NXT coming yeah, out. Yeah, so crazy. Super excited. People were like speculating because on their side of the poster there was like ladders or something like that. So everybody's thinking that yeah. the match might become a Fatal 4 way ladder match. Yeah, but that's not confirmed yet, not right? Confirmed okay, though. okay. So for the WrestleMania, we have Alexa Bliss hosting. Yay! Not sure what that entails yet. But you know what? With her being the host, it could be a very interesting. She's been very sexual lately. So she might not only be hosting WrestleMania, but she'll be hosting. Ah! Wow, this is a PG show. Lola. Oh, whatever. You're PG. always you're always bad, so it was my turn. Let's see what she does, because okay. you know, Moment of Bliss so far has been lukewarm. Amazing. Legendary. <laughs> Pre-show, there is going to be Women's Annual Battle Royale. This is yes. the second ever. So the superstars confirmed so far is Liv Morgan. Nikki James. Nikki Cross. Sonia Deville. Selena Vega. Dana Brooke. Carmelo. Lana Day. Lana Day. Naomi. Ruby Riot. Asuka. Mandy. And Sarah Logan. <laughs> what does she scream? She's just like, ah! <laughs> she screams something. There are a couple <laughs> screamers. And of course, there will be more women Maybe from not, NXT. Yes. We'll see some Kavita. I want Aaliyah, Vanessa Bourne, mm. Yanka, champion or not. Oh yeah, because when Peyton came, then they debuted on SmackDown. So let's get let's get Aaliyah and Vanessa or one really? or the other. Then they could debut on that's SmackDown or something. Out of everyone, that's your pick. You know what? Fight me. We have Candice LeRae. Fight me. What is we she have doing? Rotting away. Being wasted. And you didn't even let me finish. Okay, wait, finish, finish. Because that's kind of why I want Zelina to even be champion so that like they can kind of pick up where they left off and actually have a few that's not With centered who? around men. With Candace? Yeah. Oh. I want to see Candace. I want to see Mia Yim. I mean, interesting news regarding some of the players of Battle Royale. Unfortunately, a lot of SmackDown women are ended up in this match. WWE originally had a different plan. First of all, they were supposed to have SmackDown Women's Championship match. And as we talked about last time, it was supposed to be Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville versus Asuka, but that was scrapped. The original plan that they had was for Lacey Evans to be in a SmackDown Women's Championship and actually win it. At Mania? Yeah. Against Asuka? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. From no. that to this, we went pretty far. So then Lacey's gonna win the Battle Royal. Then. Wait, Lacey's not even in this graphic yet. That's okay, because they want to keep it a secret. Because mm. she's probably not gonna even be in the match, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden her music's gonna hit and you're gonna think she's gonna walk back, but she's gonna kick off her heels. <laughs> she's gonna handle business. Yep, business. Business. Let's move to WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Fatal 4A match. All I see is iconic. That's I all I see. <laughs> That's all I see. You don't see Beth Phoenix? <laughs> <laughs> the divas. I know that. I feel kind of <laughs> bad because I feel like I should like see divas, but all I see, I just see iconic. You know what? The iconics put the I in team. Period. What does that mean? I don't know. Because <laughs> usually they say there's no I in team, but because their name is iconic and it has two eyes, I'm just saying they put the I in team. So it's gonna be tag team with the T I M. Tag Tim. My eyes are on Beth Phoenix because she definitely killed it on Raw. Barricade spot, the glam slam. She did not miss. A beat. She, she is great. She killed every single thing she did in that one match. So I want to see her freaking glam slam Nia Jax. I want to see that onto the so match. bad. You know what? Heck, just break the ring. Break it. <laughs> and of course, the main event of WrestleMania. First ever in this history of WrestleMania. Main event with woman Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch and both Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. Winner takes um. all, loser goes to jail. <laughs> Period! <laughs> yes, um, it's the winner takes all match announced on Raw by Stephanie McMahon. What if they did that though? The loser goes to jail and takes all the charges. That would've been a good way to write Ronnie <laughs> off if she is leaving. Oh, she's in jail. <laughs> and then she gets let like, go of and, a good, and good she's, behavior. And she's gonna be on Orange's New Black. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what? Just like Impact, 
Oh you yeah, can, they could do some You can die. <laughs> yeah, Allie died. <laughs> but she's been reincarnated by AEW. I know last week we were like, the title cannot be unified. The plan right now is that it's not gonna be unified. That is not decided yet. But for now, the plan is not to be unified. The champion's gonna, the winner of this match is gonna have both titles. And eventually she's gonna drop one of the titles. WWE's current plan after WrestleMania, this is a rumored plan according to Wrestling Observer, Flair will be chasing Becky Lynch for a revenge. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking that because I was like, she can't just go away. Because she's like the biggest like heel right now. Who's going to fill those boots? Because Ronnie, if, especially if Ronnie's leaving. As much as I respect Charlotte, I really hope she gets ridden off too. Just to take a break again? Yeah. Oh, I do chickens and somebody else could like, you know. Yeah, get a chance. Cause like so. Raw after WrestleMania is like a fresh start, like yeah. new superstar debut. I feel like that could be a place where actually new superstar challenge the winner. I mean, we had good run from SummerSlam till now, Charlotte versus Becky Lynch, and Charlotte lost every single match. Wow, so, she has. So, she won at SummerSlam, and then that's been about it. Yeah. So what? Why are you? Why are you still challenging Becky for? But what if she <laughs> wins at? What else the WWE is planning ahead? Because remember when John Cena and The Rock, they went at WrestleMania for three times? So WWE is currently planning next WrestleMania. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that the plan right now is to come out of this match with a solid plan for next WrestleMania. It sounds something like Ronda Rousey might come back next year for revenge, or it might mean that they will extend Becky and Charlotte program until next year or something. Oh my gosh, that's I would, a lot. I would not want that. I like that WWE is thinking far ahead. <laughs> when do they ever do that for women's wrestling? I don't think they've done that a lot. That's Except for like Trish and Mickey. That was really good too. Yeah, that was so that good. That was juicy. And, and that was Trish and Mickey pitching the storyline. Mm -hmm. Let's move to the news about Alicia Fox, because we have something nice to say about her status. Yes. Because right. she's been gone for a little bit. She was off social media, but she uploaded on social media her Instagram saying that she's going to be on Price is Right. Yeah, that was like a funny little post. It was so kooky. Today, I'm going to the Price is Right. <laughs> And I'm planning on getting cold up because I'm going there up really early and I'm gonna be looking really cute, duh. And hopefully I'm gonna win some trips and some money and a Pilates machine, but I'm just saying, okay? So don't be jealous. So I guess it means that she filmed it? and it's gonna air later? Maybe. Yeah. Or said, maybe she's on her way to do it? According to Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Foxy is right now in town in New York for WrestleMania and she will be at Excess. Good. So it's a good sign. Good she's currently not confirmed for Battle Royale. Hopefully. But she, she might be in it. She Hopefully. might not be in it. Not sure. Fingers crossed. Here's a little bad news. Remember how I was like so overjoyed with like happiness at Evolution? Yep, you were like, this is gonna be my WrestleMania. Yeah, I'm go like, every year. I said I'm gonna spend hundreds of dollars every year. Because how much was your ticket again? $315. Yeah. I, it was well spent. I was on TV. WWE did not commit to an all-female pay-per-view this year, even though it was such a success and women are main eventing. The rumor a couple of months ago was that they were playing Queen of the Ring, but like, I don't know, I guess it's not planned at yeah. this time. We were talking about how the reason that they did Evolution yeah. was because of Saudi Arabia deal, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the reports are saying that WWE is pushing really hard to get women on that show. We'll see. I mean, if WWE do indeed have women's wrestling in Saudi Arabia, that's a big deal. Yeah. Big but deal. I just want to go to Evolution or all women's pay-per-view. It's so cool. Yeah. And I mean, Nikki headline, like... <laughs> The reason that they are not committing to the all-female event is because they are not going to have Ronda Rousey. And I'm guessing Nikki Bella retiring also kind of adds to this because they don't have those um, mainstream stars to headline. I just feel like if they invested more into the women that they have so that everybody's kind of doing their own thing and are kind of hot and ready, mm -hmm. that it could still happen. But if you're only investing in the same four people, when those four people leave or get hurt or retire, mm -hmm. then what? Like Becky Lynch, she, uh, WWE had no faith in her, and even though she was a four horse woman, mm -hmm. she was always the back in a back burner. Yep. And look what happened now. She sells out her meet and greet like in just like that. Her toy tops the Amazon freaking list. Like she is a big ass deal. Yeah. I think WWE just genuinely didn't know that that could happen with women. I really hope they change their mind. Yeah. I, or maybe they are hiding it. I mean, we didn't know about Evolution until like yeah, they a couple months just before. Said it. Yeah, so maybe yeah. they're hiding it. It will be a time for Stephanie to shine again, and she's gonna be like, Queen of the Ring! <laughs> and we're gonna be like, yeah! 
Yeah, let's move to Michelle McCool because she had this flawless argument. Real talk. <laughs> real talk, real talk. She said, I do think the woman should get paid. A main event is a main event. I hope they do and think they should. The hard truth is, yes, women are having their own pay-per-view. They're having this main event. But the thing is, what's happening backstage is like half the war. They have mm -hmm. to fight. You know, you can present women as like the equal, but if you don't get paid or treated like the equal backstage, it's, that's not that's like not a total cool, equality. Yeah. yeah, we've talked about this before, but this is 2018 WWE salary. Oh my god, you're kidding. We know that the highest paid woman is Ronda Rousey with $1.5 million. Are you serious? Charlotte Flair, $550,000. Nikki Bella, $350,000. Alexa Bliss, $350,000. Move to the man. Brock Lesnar. 10 million. John Cena, 8.5 million. Roman Reigns, 5 million. And Seth Rollins, 3 million. Miz, 2.5 million. Even Jinder Mahal is getting almost a million. There's definite pay gap between women and men. Even though Becky Lynch is main eventing and she's the hottest thing right now, um, I doubt she will get paid like that. That's really the fight that we won't have to fight now. Invisible one. But the good news is that WWE is not a monopoly anymore, um, hopefully, because AEW is going to be in the industry. And the one thing that Brandy Rose promised is that the equal pay. That's really good. Yeah, not about the gender, it's not about the race. Uh, it's going to be about how they perform, how much crowd they bring in. Mm -hmm. I guess they didn't really specify on yeah. how because not everyone's gonna be paid the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But speaking of AEW, there should be someone that AEW should be looking into because Emma, Tennille Dashwood. It's all about me. It is all about her because she <laughs> departed from Ring of Honor. People were saying her, her tweet was kind of shady. What did she say? Because <laughs> she was just like, I'm a free agent and I'm healthy. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, okay. Well, I guess that's a f you to Ring of Honor then, huh? Yeah, so um, Pro Wrestling Sheet uh, reported that Daniel Dashwood's contract with Ring of Honor will be expiring this month. Apparently she did not re-sign. She joined Ring of Honor in February of 2018, but she's been out of the action because of the surgery mm -hmm. and her skin condition. Her skin. And she recently came back and she's ready to Straight rest. Up. Yeah. So hope AEW takes a look at her. Yeah, I'm sure they will. We have some unfortunate news, injury news. So there are a couple oh. people that are on our injury news. So Caitlyn, former WWE Divas Champion, Man Classics Classic competitor, Classic. is injured. She was training to be in an indie show. Jeannie from NXT UK is currently injured and Mercedes Martinez, the coolest woman I've ever seen. I was like, this is the coolest. He was like, and like awe. It was she was her. so cool. He was just like yeah. We saw her at Rise yeah. uh, last weekend. So cool. But during a match, uh, she got bruised ribs. Yeah, that's what. Uh, that's right. So she had slight injury. So oh, hope good. Caitlyn, Ginny, and Mercedes all get healed up yes. really soon. And I hope to see you all in the ring very, very, very soon. <laughs> Before we wrap up, there is a prediction contest. Yeah. So go to our um our long review video. The long <laughs> review, yes. And comment with your choice yes. of who Who's you gonna think. Who's going to win at yeah. TakeOver, the Battle Royal. Mm -hmm. um, all, all four matches. Yes, women's tag and yes. main event. And then please add your predicted length of a match. For each of them? For or each for, of them. Okay. For each of them. The one with the closest. Yes. We'll be picking you and send you a special gift. Special gift from us? Yes. <laughs> and I have a special gift for you. I do it! This is so cute. I love this. Is this so cute? This is so cute. Aww, cute. I love this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this news and rumor video. You can find me at Nintendo Boy DS. And you can follow us at the Little Star. Bye. Bye. <laughs>